In this demo, I'll show how to configure custom authentication in Copilot Studio. I have already configured custom authentication for this Copilot. I'll now override this configuration and see the configurations of custom authentication. I have selected the authentication type as. Enable the toggle for this. Require users to sign in. By the way, how do we get into the authentication screen? From the Copilot settings, click on the security, then click on the authentication icon. As I told, our day I have configured the custom manual authentication for this Copilot. As I told, I have opened. I have configured the custom manual authentication for this Copilot. I have opened my Copilot on the demo website. You can see a login button. Just click on that. It generated token code numbers. Copy the numbers. Come to your demo website screen and paste the token number in the chat box. It is now being authenticated. The authentication process was successful. We can see the default message from Copilot. Now, I am asking a question like, what is collaboration platform? The question is being processed. Wow, I got the answer from my SharePoint online site. We can see it here. Okay, this was the demo. I have already registered my app in Azure portal with this name. I have already registered my app in Azure portal with this name. Copilot custom authentication demo and configured the client ID and secret in the Copilot. Here, I'll create another application registration with the new name. Copilot Custom Authentication Demo 2. Step 1. Log into https colon slash slash portal azure.com. In the search box, enter app registration. App registration page opens. Click on the new registration link. Name your new app registration. Select the radio button. Accounts in this organizational directory only. Microsoft only. Single tenant. Click on the overview menu. From here, copy the application client ID, which is needed in the Copilot authentication configuration. Next, click on the Redirect URIs link. Click on Add Platform button. Click on the Web menu. For the Redirect URIs, enter this URL. Getting a login error, let's reload this page. The page is being reloaded. Still being reloaded. The page has been reloaded now. Follow the same process, click on the Add Platform button. Click on the web link. For redirect URIs, enter this URL, https colon slash slash token dot bot framework dot com slash dot auth slash web slash redirect. Click on the Certificates and Secrets menu. Click on New Client Client Secret. Enter the description for your client secret. I am entering my demo client secret description. Click on the certificates and secrets menu. Click on new client client secret. Enter the description for your client secret. 
I am entering my demo client secret description. Click on the add button. Copy the value and paste it in Notepad. This is needed in the Copilot authentication configuration. Please be aware that once you are out of this screen, you can't copy this value again. In that case, go to your Copilot settings, then click on the security, then click on the authentication. I am keeping my client secret value in a temporary location. Now go to the authentication configuration section in Copilot from the below navigation. Go to your Copilot settings, then click on the security, then click on the authentication. Select the authentication as authenticate manually and enable require users to sign in. Paste the client secret value in the client secret box. Make sure the service provider has been selected as Azure Active. Paste the application client ID value in the client ID box. Doing the same for the client secret value, which I copied earlier. Paste the client secret value in the client secret box. Make sure the service provider has been selected as Azure Active Directory v2. Rest all configurations and keep it as it is. Click on the Save button. For the Save This Configuration, Confirmation, click on the Save button. Now, the manual authentication configuration part is done from the Copilot end. Next, go to your app configuration in Azure Portal. From your app, click on the API Permissions menu. Click on Grant Admin Consent for your organization. Click on the Add a Permission link. Under Microsoft Graph, click on Delegated Permissions. Then, add these permissions. Files, read, all, open it, profile, sites. Read, all, and user, read. Again, click on the Grant Admin Consent for your organization link. After adding the permissions, make sure you can see those permissions here. Now, configure the scopes for your app. Click on the Expose and API link. Click on the Add a Scope link. Click on the Save and Configure button. On the next screen, configure the following. Admin consent display name, admin consent description, user consent display name, and user consent description. I am passing the above mentioned parameters here. You can ignore the optional parameters. Just have a look at what and how I am passing parameters. Ah, uh, I forgot to pass the scope name, which is a mandatory parameter.
and make sure state is in enabled mode. Click on the add scope button. It's done. The configuration is completed. Come back to your copilot. Now, you need to publish your copilot. Let me publish my copilot. My copilot is being published. My copilot has been published successfully. Let's test this copilot to see how it looks and works with manual authentication. Click on the Channels menu. You can see all channels where you can deploy your copilot. Select the demo website channel link. Copy the demo website URL. And open the link in a new tab. By the way, this demo I am testing with my newly created app in Azure Portal configuration. You can see my copilot opened on the demo website with a login button. Click on this button. Token generation page opened. Copy the validation code. Paste the validation code into the chat box and press enter. Now, my copilot has successfully been authenticated. You can ask any questions related to the knowledge sources. You have configured to this copilot. I am asking what collaboration in SharePoint Online? My copilot has processed the question. And I got the answer with the link references. Even, you will get the login button from Copilot Designer Test Mode also. Click on this button. The token generation page is being opened. Copy the validation code and paste it into the chat box. That's it. My Copilot has successfully been authenticated from the Copilot Studio Designer also. You can ask any questions related to your data sources or knowledges you have configured in your copilot. Now, let's recap this demo. Just have a look at the screen. What I did in the Azure portal for this demo. Continue watching the screen. Continue watching the screen. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. If it helped you, thank you.